Central presents Tess. Oh my God, hey! Oh my God, the love. That is so cool. Um, man, let me, first of all, I got to give a shout out to all the Juicy Girls. Hey, Juicies, how y'all doing? <laughs> See, oh, I'm sorry. Girls, if you don't know what that is, that means you're not one, okay? <laughs> that's, that's for all the women who don't consider themselves big or plus size. We just can a little extra water. We Juicy Girls, we Juicy. <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> Heck yeah, women know how it is. Ain't it certain times the month we gain an extra 50, 60 pounds, you know. <laughs> Just in water, right, ladies, right? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> I can take a piss right now and be down to 125, 125. <laughs> Get them jeans right on. You <laughs> I don't care, because see, I'm from Sadusky, Ohio, and hi. <laughs> the pick of the litter, all right? Oh, uh, I had it going on. I won Miss Corn Cob three years in a row, you know. I was Sears Roebuck Tire Woman of the Year. First place in the tractor pool, but you know. Oh no, that's not good enough now. Ladies, we gotta learn how to love yourself. That's where it starts. You got to love yourself. I don't care. You got to, you got to. Like y'all, I would look in the magazines and I see the little girls and I'd be like, oh, they're so beautiful. I saw them up close, y'all. They're not beautiful. <laughs> they look like little 90 pound stick figures walking around. It ain't happening, okay? God did not intend for a woman to weigh 90 pounds, all right? If you do, you are in third grade, okay? Third grade. <laughs> third. Me personally, I think the only thing that should weigh 90 pounds is uh, maybe one full grown titty. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one voluptuous breast. Not your whole damn body, they crazy. I don't care. Cause I'm here to tell you right now, man. I don't know, people always ask me like, Tess, what would you be doing if you wasn't doing comedy? I would probably be in the political arena. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause uh, Condoleezza Rice, I love her. I love her, y'all. That's a bad sister. And she can lie. Ooh, she can lie. Ooh. <laughs> she just make me feel warm and fuzzy, you know. Just a good liar, I don't care. <laughs> Cause I'll tell you right, just like her, I would have never told on my boss either. Mm -mm, me either. Cause I'm, let me tell you something white people about black women. There are two things we ain't gonna do. One is snitch and two is file sexual harassment. That's not us, all right? <laughs> white girls, y'all started that little revolution, okay? <laughs> That ain't up. <laughs> Cause I'm here to tell you, I worked for this attorney one time who would tell me every morning, test your breasts look like two big ripe peaches ready for the picking. <laughs> you think I went running the human resource to tell on it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I knew I was gonna need that come performance review time. <laughs> That's called leverage, white girls, leverage. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if me and my sister girls get a good job with benefits, nice pay, we walk in the door knowing, I might have to give up some ass in here. We know that. <laughs> we know. We chalk it up right in the beginning, right in the beginning. You're like, mm, this is a nice office. I might have to give up some ass for this. this <laughs> yeah, this is nice here. <laughs> Okay. We do, I'm ten, ten. but I know who got y'all started, white girls, Monica Lewinsky. Oh yeah, y'all was on her team, wasn't you? Go Monica. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, shut up, Monica, shut up. Just shut up. You messing it up for all the good honest hoes in the world. Be quiet. <laughs> Mm 
And don't tell your little white friends, because you see what happened to her. She come telling her little, what's her old dog face friend name? Uh, Linda Tripp. Yeah, like a German Shepherd, old dog face self. Uh, I fully expected her to bark her testimony, you know. Just, <laughs> Oh, dog face I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, if that was a sister breaking the president off, y'all would have never heard about it to this day. That would have been a White House secret, I'm here to tell you. Think about it. Shantae or Dejanae or something, you know, Crayola. <laughs> she wouldn't have thought it. <laughs> she could have just got up off her knees and walked out the wall and straight to the cameras and been like, huh? No, uh-uh, I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't know no Clinton. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, shoot, got something in my dress. No! No, I don't know. <sighs> well, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I ain't never really been a worker, per se. All right? Uh, <laughs> I was even a bad temp. Y'all know it's bad when well, you can't even temp. I would jam the copier and walk away and stuff, you know. I'm a temp. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> They give me work, I hide it underneath the pregnant girl's desk and stuff, you know. <laughs> Leave her notes. I hope you got some rest, because you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm a temp. I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never really wanted to work. I blame this whole working craze on the feminists. That's who I blame it on. Ladies, oh yeah, I don't know who put them in charge. Ladies, I hope you realize we could be at home resting right now if it wasn't for their asses. No, nah, they had to go around burning bras and stuff. <laughs> you know, equal rights, equal rights. We want to work as hard as men do. <laughs> no the hell we don't. <laughs> I want to stay at home and rest up for my next shopping expedition, man. <laughs> this ain't fair. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't never want to work. They crazy. I want to, I'll tell you something. Women really just want to be protected and taken care of. That's what we want. We do. That's our thing. It's true. That's why every woman wants to see her man in a tool belt. We do. We don't give a damn if y'all can fix anything. Just wear it. Just wear it. All you got to do is pull out the wrench and tap on a few things. That's all you got to do. You're going to get you some in the morning, I promise. I want to have some of them good old days my mama told me about. Ooh, back in the good old days. When a man was interested in you, he would just walk up to you, sniff you. If he liked you, he'd club you over the head and drag you off to the cave. <laughs> But now, I will be aggressive if need be, but um, you don't never know really how far to take it. Because one time I was at the show, and you know, I finished, and I went back to my hotel, and I was just chilling. I was in the hotel lobby, and I met this nice guy, and we was talking and stuff, you know, and I was buying him drinks, and we was giggling and laughing, and I was buying him more drinks. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got him up to my room, because I was basically moving in for the kill. And uh, all of a sudden, he wanted to wait. Let's talk. I don't know you. I'm like, hold on, you didn't say that when I was buying you all them drinks. <laughs> now get up on the bed and pull your pants off. <laughs> Maybe going around teasing bitches. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But did I tell y'all I joined the mentorship program at my church? Um, yeah. <laughs> she clapping like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I wanted to get back, you know. So I got these two mentees, right? They 10 and 11, and they're girls. But there's a reason why I don't have kids. I know that now, because I, <laughs> I don't never really know what's appropriate to say, right? So my first time taking them out, right? They, I, I really think them little heifers were setting me up. I really do. <laughs> because all of a sudden, the conversation whirled around the sex, right? And they was talking about, oh, some girl on their school bus got caught trying to have sex, right? And I'm thinking like, damn, Oprah was right. These kids at 11 really are trying to have sex, right? <laughs> and then I wasn't gonna say nothing, but then before I know it, I said, look, girls, don't go out like no chicken head or hoochie like your little girlfriend. I hope that boy at least bought her a couple milks that day at lunch or something. <laughs> 
Anyway, you're supposed to wait till you get married. Get you a nice little ring on your finger, a rock, a nice rock, or a pebble if he cheap, but preferably a rock. <laughs> now, come on, girl, say it with me. No ring, no ding -a ling Come on now. No ring. No rock, no Come on. No rock, no No rock. So, anyway, I'm on suspension, so. I can't see my mentees for six months, whatever. I was just trying to get back, that's all. Uh, Cause I'm trying to tell girls, you know, stuff that people, you know, women, a lot of women don't talk about these type of things. I'm trying to help them out, like birth control. They don't, you can't try everything out there. See, cause when they put it out there, they don't never come back and tell us when the lab monkey die, they just leave it. <laughs> like, <laughs> That, uh, what was that? that one that you put in your arm, you don't have to worry about getting pregnant for three years. Ooh, you don't have to worry about no birth control, no pregnancy for three years. Yeah, they're right. Um, but I also didn't have any eyebrows. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I had a mysterious lump under one arm. <laughs> Couldn't grow no pubes, you know. <laughs> That's why I didn't get pregnant for three years. I look like a damn freak. That's why. <laughs> I don't know. I got a backup plan. Just in case this whole star thing don't work out, I'm just gonna get married again. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and I know y'all looking at me like again, but them first two don't count. Those don't count. <laughs> this time, I'm gonna be good this time. I'm honest, I didn't learn my lesson. I'm gonna stop all that fighting and shooting and stuff. And this time, <laughs> I'm gonna be good. Cause that's one thing my mom said wasn't true. She was like, ooh, a man like a woman with little excitement and danger. That's not true, okay? Cause that bullet didn't even hit him, it just grazed him. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. And he was like, oh, you're crazy, divorce, divorce. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> That's why my last boyfriend was an older Jewish man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care, he promised to buy me my own network. <laughs> oh, he said I didn't take his culture seriously, though. I don't know how he could say that. I mean, I learned how to make matzo ball soup. And you got to admit, the menorah do kind of look like a flower vase, just a little bit. It wasn't all bad, though, because, you know, we would have our little pet names for each other. I would call him my dirty little Hebrew. <laughs> and he would call me his little chocolate-covered Gentile, yeah. <laughs> it was cute. <sighs> I date all men too. Ladies, I'm here to tell you, forget that. Don't, you know, like they always saying, oh, one's like this, one's like that. I'm the rainbow coalition up in here. I didn't try them all, okay? <laughs> That's why I don't like when they always show sisters as being angry when we see a black man with another race, but some mostly white women. We're all, <laughs> some of us really don't give a damn, like me. I know I could go around this room right now to every sister in here, we could write down five brothers they could have for free, right? <laughs> to learn how to get along with the white girls. I suggest we do a little NBA trade. That's what I say. <laughs> we willing to give up uh, Tay Diggs and Cooper Gooden Jr. and Dennis Rodman for say, y'all Brad Pitt. <laughs> I know a few sisters wanna wax that ass. Um, <laughs> That's why, that's why I don't like it, because I didn't try them all. I'm here to date I dated Korean, Japanese, all of them, Asians. I didn't date Asians, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all, as stereotypical as it is, it's true. It didn't, it's true. Oh, it was sad, y'all. <laughs> I thought he was playing. I was like, for real, let me see, let me see, for real. <laughs> Stop playing, let me see. Oh. I was like, woo, wow, it's so precious. <laughs> what was I gonna do, you know? <laughs> Ooh, and I was like, all right, come on, let's try it, my little rice cake, let's do it. <laughs> yep, they did them and I dated uh, Jamaican guys, you know, but I'm drug free, they smoke entirely too much weed. I had to leave him alone, mm -mm. I would wake up and he was rolling blunts big as pillows. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 
That's too much weed, dog. <laughs> And then I dated a, a Mexican man, yeah. Well, you know, I dated Hispanic, all the Hispanic Latinos, but mine was Mexican in particular. And ladies, you got to be careful because they will work you to death, all right? <laughs> he thought I was his own little personal slave or something, you know. I had to tell him, eyes free, eyes free. <laughs> eyes free. You didn't meet me on a ship. You met me at the club. Remember the club? <laughs> I was tussy rolling and you was like... <laughs> Every week I had to go to his mama's house. Every week somebody was turning five. Where the hell is all these kids coming from? <laughs> if I see one more pinata, I'm gonna shoot that damn thing myself. <laughs> now, how come the men get to eat first all the time? We hungry, too. What we gonna eat? All the women just stacked up in the kitchen, heating up tortillas over the stove all day. <laughs> you know me, I tried to rally the other women around me and stuff. <laughs> I was like, Maria, Guadalupe. <laughs> now, I got a car. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm hungry. Ain't y'all hungry? <laughs> they just looked at me like I was crazy. Chica, callate, callate, chica. <laughs> All right, how many more you want, Jesus? How many more? How many more? <laughs> so I perform at a lot of colleges, you know. I do a lot of colleges, but um, I don't know. Maybe at 1920, these girls, I don't know, sometimes what they be talking about. I just want to get my check and go, basically. You know, I don't feel good sometimes. And I was doing this show, and this girl was like, just give me my check and let me go, right? But she just wanted to talk. <sighs> Oh my God, Tess, oh my God. You were really funny, you were really, really funny, okay? <laughs> Do you mind if we chat for a minute, girlfriend to girlfriend? <laughs> I'm like, shoot, I ain't got a choice, you got my check. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it seems like you've been with a lot of men, and did you just call me a hoe? <laughs> and I just found out my boyfriend, Todd, has been cheating on me again, and I'm like, oh my God, Todd, I can't believe you're doing this to me. I'm thinking maybe now we won't get married after, after college, you know? And maybe I'll just be a strong, independent woman like you and move to Africa and help your people save the whales. <laughs> so now I'm thinking two things, basically. One, who the hell told her there were some whales in Africa need saving? <laughs> and secondly, how much jail time I get if I choke this heifer, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna choke her all the way. I'm just gonna choke her a little bit. I just needed my check because I need to go have my nipples fixed. <laughs> and y'all think I'm playing, but they're serious. Oh, I didn't tell you about my nip nipples, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I had a little extra cash and uh, I decided to get a breast reduction because I used to wear a 56 double F, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole lot of breasts, y'all know, huh? And never go to Tijuana and have your breasts done. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> So I don't know if the doctors thought this was like a little jokey joke in their operating room or what, but they decided to leave that double F nipple on a D breast. <laughs> After all that, I don't want y'all to think I'm perfect. So uh, I, <laughs> I too have a dysfunctional family and I used to be ashamed of it, but not anymore. Uh, I have my mom and dad right now are strangely preoccupied with death. I don't know what's going on, but they always making sure their arrangements are together. I don't know. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all I know is it better be some life insurance. That's all I know. <laughs> I got a sister who's just sick, but she angry as hell. I don't know what's wrong with, but she bitter. Sometimes I want to pinch her. Is that wrong? Um, but she just bitter and mean. Now I have one brother who's cool. You know, he just works and does his thing. He don't bother me. I like him the best. And uh, then I have my other brother who he hates white people. I think he's worked in corporate America too long or something. I don't know. Um. He's always, <laughs> he's always trying to get the Black Panthers started together again. <laughs> Looking for a revolution. But I don't know how well that's gonna work out seeing as though he married a white woman. <laughs> <laughs>